Yes, indeed. What's happening? What it is? What's going? Yeah. Oh, everybody, it's your boy. Mike Rich, man, what's happening with y'all today? I hope everybody, each and every last one of y'all, is having a blessed day today, man. Today, I got this idea from this for this video from uh, the comments, really, when I went to sneak. But between the comments in person and the comments on the video when I went to SneakerCon, a lot of people, more than I thought, honestly, because I don't know if I ever got this kind of reaction for any shoe in my collection that I wore. Um, they was complimenting the Vicks I had on. I had on this uh, Zoom Vic uh, 2, Michael Vick's signature shoe. And I, I was just like surprised at how many people commented on that shoe. I just know when I go to sneaker events, that's when I'm going to pull out a shoe that I feel like I don't want to see nobody else wearing it. You know what I'm saying? So, for the most part, for the most part being a sneakerhead is still as many new sneakerheads as we got in the game. Being a sneakerhead is still... A very niche situation if you will which means it's not common like it, it's not common for somebody to have this many sneakers in their collection it's not common for somebody to want to get every drop that actually any collector in my opinion I don't know any collector anybody who collects anything that is just common that a lot of people do that that the majority of people do it's just not a common situation so on my daily on my daily you know what I'm saying I'm not worried about I'm finna try to pull out something that's gonna kill them that ain't nobody gonna have because nine times out of ten, I just wear a pair of Jordans or just a pair of retros or something that just dropped in the last few years. It's gonna be it's gonna be fresh and people are gonna be looking down and respect. You know what I'm saying? The average people who not sneaker is gonna respect it. Not saying that's the only reason I wear sneakers, but that is a bonus to wearing shoes when people actually, you know what I'm saying? Comment and be like, what what you, what's those right there? And when you get those, when they drop, those are fresh, those are fire. That, that, I wore those Zoom Vicks, bro, and everybody who crossed me was like, bro, what shoe is that? Like, either they was like, what shoe that is, or if they knew what shoe it was, they was like, bro, you going hard with the Vicks. I forgot about them. They look, I forgot how dope they look on feet. And I'm going to show those first, but I'm showing, I'm just, on this video, I'm just going to show five shoes that I feel like if I wear, they might not get respect and be like, those are fire and stuff like that. But I'm almost willing to guarantee I'm not going to see another person, even at a sneaker event, I'm not going to see another person wearing these shoes. And I'm not saying that this is the, the most rare shoes ever, because you can still go on StockX and Goat and cop a few of these. I just never see them on anybody's feet. Whether that's because they think the shoe is trash and people think they ugly, people forgot about them, or people just not that really knowledgeable on them. You know what I'm saying? I just never see these shoes on anybody's feet. So I'm going to start off with the ones that I did wear. And this is the Zoom Vic 2. Um... Dropped about what? What was it? Five, four or five years ago? Where are the production dates on these right here? The production date is 2015. Okay, 2011, 15 to 4, 27, um, 15. So these dropped, I believe, in 2015. I want to say. Yeah, I think they dropped in 2015. This colorway was like one of my favorite colorways. Also, if I would have been thinking about it, like almost all of these kind of like sat around and went on sale back then. And the red one like this was fire as well. I should have copped that one. They did a Carolina blue one. They did a uh, green one uh, for the Jets. Like when he played for the, um, he did play for the Jets? Or was that the Eagles colorway? For some reason I feel like Vic played for the Jets. I could be wrong. I don't feel like Googling right now. But I know he played for the Eagles. Maybe that's what that colorway was for. But anyway, it was a fire colorway. And this white, this white toe box, man, it's just, it's just, like, it's, it's really hard how they executed this shoe, man. They put Mike Vick's number right here, number seven right here. It's really his signature shoe. You know what I'm saying? And when the thing happened with him, when he got in trouble, I don't want, I don't even want to go out. I know I done been through all, everybody in Atlanta done been through that story a million times, so I ain't going to go crazy about that. But I know they stopped making his shoes. They was on his uh, Vick, I think they was on the fourth shoe. Because the one after this was the strap. I got that one as well. And then the one after that was his fourth shoe. And I can't remember. I don't remember what they looked like. But I, I can't remember like the theme for them anyway. But I remember. Like they either took it off the shelves when that happened. When he got in trouble. They either took everything off the shelf. Or they um. Everything just dropped down in price. And I should have just. Like his latest signature shoe was like on sale for $29, $39. I remember that. I was like dang. 
And I should have just bought everything <laughs> then, but I didn't think about it. Like I said, they also got his number on the back inside of this. This is his logo. It's kind of like a football logo, and it has his number inside it. Like I said, um, his number is actually right here, too, on the front. And it's his Nike with his signature. It's right here on the tongue, man. Very dope shoe. Also has that football. Y'all probably can't see that. That football logo on the inside as well. But I don't know. It's just a dope shoe. Trainers and uh, sneakers for football players you don't see as much. It's a couple of them actually in these five shoes that I'm gonna show. But um, very very dope shoe. I wasn't even thinking when I was putting it on. Though. I was thinking, man, people gonna either be like, they know what they are and they be like, they don't care about them because of how much how they set, or they gonna be like, no, why are you rocking Vicks? I don't know what they were gonna say, but I was just like, I'm trying to wear something that I know nobody ain't really gonna have on their feet like this. And I had to hunt these down. I got these like later because. I seen them on sale, but by the time I was ready to buy, I was waiting for everything to go on sale because they was all going on sale. I couldn't find my size, so I, can, I honestly don't remember how I got these. I don't know if I went go to StockX or back then, 2015, these dropped. I think I got them like 2017 or something like that. And I honestly, I think I just might have caught them on a the website like, yeah, because I had got them like on Jimmy Jazz or something like that. I can't remember exactly, but it was a place like that. But anyway, Zoom Vic 2s. I talked about that shoe enough. Um, another shoe. This one came out fairly recently. Um, and I never seen it on anybody's feet except for when they first dropped. And that's the Takara, Terracotta Warrior, uh, Japanese art inspired, um, Jordan 14 Low Clots. Now this shoe right here, man, and I ain't gonna go, I'm not gonna go over, like too long over the shoe, but I just don't never see this shoe on nobody's feet. Now, it could be because they think it's trash. It could be because this little tassel thing back here. This is the only thing I don't like. And I don't, I like the way it looks, but I don't like the way it kind of make that noise and hit up across the back of the shoe. And like, everything in me be like, man, just cut it off, bro. Just snip it right here and you won't have to worry about it no more. But it's just such a part of the shoe and a part of what the um, shoe represents. I don't want to do that. So shout out to Clap because the suede on these things right here is so crazy. Like, in the colorway, it's just... I love the neutral colors and the, like the dark kind of like I want to say I don't even know man I don't even know what I don't even know what to call this color it's almost like a peach I guess no not really it look like makeup foundation <laughs> I know that's crazy to say on a men's shoe but it looks like that's exactly what it looked like the color of like a makeup foundation I don't know but that's what I think of when I see that especially with the texture of it it kind of got this texture like you can do like this and it'll come off on your finger or something like that Anyway, uh, the Jordan 14, these actually dropped, let me see, the. Um, these dropped in 2020. So they dropped like um, two, three years ago, man. It's dope shoe in my humble opinion. Never see them on nobody's feet. Clot logo, this is size 12 and a half, and I actually hit this shoe on sneakers. Uh, Nike sneakers out, man. You know what I'm saying? They sold out day one, of course. Um, they didn't do a draw. I think it was just like first come, first serve, but they sold out. And I was able to hit that elusive 12 and a half. Speaking of 12 and a half, I did go after those Kobe today too. And the 12 and a half, those all white ones. I don't really want that shoe. I like Kobe 8s, but that all white, I just did it because I might be able to trade it or something like that. Anything of value, I just still go for. Just in case I might be able to trade it. I'm surprised anybody going after those AJKO black and reds. People claim they love that bread colorway so much. And I'm surprised nobody went after that shoe today, man. Might be able to catch it on sale. My holler at one of my people with them swoosh account, man. Get them thing half off. You feel me? Because I like the bread colorway that much. And I be wearing my beater uh, bread Jordan 1 Low uh, OGs. So I wouldn't mind having a fresh pair of uh, bread lows to kick around. You feel me? Even if it is a canvas, all canvas AJKO. That's why I got to get it for the low. Here's another shoe that I never see on anybody's feet, man. Never see this shoe on anybody's feet. And whenever I wear it, most people are like, when did that colorway come out? And other people are like, what are those? You know what I'm saying? And this is the Air Jordan 1 OG High. This is the Dominique's guy. The Dominique uh, Wilkins joint. This is the human highlight reel. Dominique Wilkins Air Jordan 1. And it commemorates Michael Jordan going against uh, Dominique Wilkins in the slam dunk contest. That's why it has the Atlanta Hawks colors. If people wondering, everybody... I remember I used to wear this shoe. People call him Ronald McDonald and all this stuff. This is the OG Atlanta Hawks colors. That gold, red, and black freshness in my humble opinion and this is a shoe that I never see nobody wearing a lot of people don't realize right here on the side panel you have to look real close I don't feel like adjusting my focus so I'm not gonna hold it super close this time um, but on the side panels everything that's black and even on the uh, toe right here you look real close and it actually looks like film 
from like a, that's why they call it a human highlight reel, a human highlight film. That's what the shoe is called. And um, he was called the human highlight. You know you good at dunking on people and, and making posters out of folks if your nickname is the human highlight. Come on, Neat. Shout out to Dominique. I met him a couple of times. He actually lives in my area. I always forget to have my Dominique jerseys with me. I'm starting putting it in the trunk. So if I see him again, I can get him to go in there. You know, get that little pin. He said he'll sign it for me, but I don't ever have it on me. Um, but anyway, the Dominique Wilkins guys, shout out to him. Shout out to Dominique. Shout out to Michael Jordan for, uh, I don't know if it was his idea, but for making the shoe, commemorating that, them, those battles that he used to have in the dunk contest. Never seen nobody rocking these, man. Never seen nobody. I, I, I'm, I'm the only person looking in the mirror who I've seen rocking that shoe right there. It'll be, it'll be way easier to find somebody rocking those Jordan 14s I just showed. And those Vicks, never seen nobody rocking those. And I'm sure somebody got them, but they probably beat them up or something like that. Here's another shoe that i never seen nobody rocking. We got two more. And i probably never seen nobody rocking these because when they dropped, everybody said they was ugly. The highs don't, of this shoe don't get no love. The OG high, regular, of this shoe don't get no love. And that's the Air Jordan 7. Y'all, I heard no. Low. This is the Concord colorway, bro. Dark Concord or something like that. So... Now, I have I have seen somebody wearing, let me care, let me start capping. I seen somebody wearing this shoe one time. It was this young dude, and I was at the Nike outlet. And he wore my size too. I was gonna buy him for, from him off his feet, but I thought about it and I was like, bro, don't nobody like that shoe. I might be able to find it for uh, a good price on like Go to Stock It. And I think I got these from GOAT for like $200 or something like that. Um, I don't know how much they go for now. People do not like sevens and people don't like lows. I think the main reason people don't like these 7 lows because it literally looks like they chopped off the top of a Jordan 7. Just took it off. But most of the time when people do lows, they do like um, customs and they make sure a low. That's all they doing anyway, man. I don't know. I just like the colors of this shoe. And with certain pants that I wear, man, this shoe looks crazy on feet. And believe it or not, I get a lot of compliments when I wear this shoe. I think it's just the pops of colors, the pops of that Concord. How that red hit off that Concord and then you have that like mint uh green not really a mint green but like this vibrant kind of green color that hit off of everything hit them with that yellow the only thing about it is very hard to match a shoe like this every now and then i find a shirt and then i always do like a black pants or something like that but it's not a really easy shoe to match i wish i would have went after all the lows the yellow ones was hard i really wanted that shoe i would like that shoe in the high honestly and then i had the bordeaux lows i own every iteration of the bordeaux except for the og one that came out of 1992 and the low, which I should have got because at one time the resale prices was low. Now they ridiculous like everything else. Last shoe, man. Y'all comment below. I know a lot of people gonna say trash can water, which I I expect, and I ain't mad at it. If y'all hate them, it is what it is. If you like them, shout out to you too. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody, bro. But this is the last one, and it might be a more of a recent uh, cop too. Yeah, these dropped in 2021. <laughs> Well, I didn't realize these dropped that recently. I guess because nobody talks about the shoe. You never see it. And, um, I don't know. It's just a dope shoe to me. And this is the Saquon Barkley X Nike Trainer 3 New York City. That's what these are called. These are, man, these are five. Bro, last time I wore these, I had at least three or four people ask me where I got them from. Because they don't know what they are. I mean, they know they're the trainers, but they like, dude, it's something different about this shoe. And um, I guess I grabbed the other one. And the main thing, and it's, I, I, it seems like every time I grab this shoe, every time I look at this shoe, I see something different. Like, and I think these two stripes right here, I think I noticed that last time, but I kind of forgot until I warm again. They represent the like the eye paint or whatever. You know, you need that for that that vision down the field. You, you gotta have that vision. You know what I'm saying? You gotta see. You gotta see them holes. You gotta go up through there. Anyway, um, they had his number on the tongue, number 26, and it says Air Trainer 3 with a Nike swoosh through it. On the back of the, um, you got the green in the back of the tongue that kind of like represents turf. You also got the green on the inside of the uh, Velcro strap right here that represents the turf. Just a dope shoe. Um, and it has that 3M. When the light hits this shoe, the 3M goes crazy. I love the trainers. I'm, I don't, let me, let me take that back. I'm not really a big fan of the trainers but for some reason what they did to this shoe as far as materials colorway execution and everything got Sa saquon's uh 
logo on the inside of the shoe as well. As far as everything they did to this shoe, it made me like this trainer. Like, I don't own any of these trainers. And I didn't just get this one because it's a, it's a collab with a football player. I got this one because it looked better than the rest of them I've seen. Even the OGs, in my humble opinion, man. That's just my opinion, you know what I'm saying? So, size 12 action, got these off GOAT a few years ago. They going In my size, I think I paid like 280 or something like that. And now they go for like, I just looked a minute ago, $600 in my size on GOAT. So, I'm glad I went for them when I did. That was 2021. It's two years later. And they hyped up in price that much. They ain't going to do nothing but go up further and further. Especially like when he retires or something like that, in my humble opinion. So, anyway, man, those are the five sneakers in my collection. Not the rare sneakers in my collection. And I probably could have made a, a 10 sneaker list of shoes that I really don't see nobody wearing no more. But that's just five sneakers in my collection that I just really don't see nobody rocking. And wearing those Vicks kind of made me realize when I go to sneaker events and stuff like that, when I go to places where people know their sneakers, that's when I get the most gratification. I feel validated. I feel validated a little bit. You know what I'm saying? And it's not like that's what I'm looking for, but when you do with your peers that you that know sneakers and that rock sneakers like that, you sometimes you want to feel a little validation when you know you got a pair that ain't nobody rocking like that. So anyway, that's my video. Y'all comment below and tell me what y'all think of it and what's your favorite shoe in your collection or that you like that nobody you haven't never seen on nobody's feet. Y'all comment below and let me know. As always, thank you for watching. I appreciate y'all. Hit the thumbs up. Like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Hit that notification bell so you can become a part of Rich Nation. Stand all the way up to the moon on them. Hell as you saying. And keep watching my video because that's what I'm here for. Gone.